All right, there may be some truth to it. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Okay. We got a long ways to go until 69, so you better we're figure something the, out in the meantime. We're in the doldrums for <laughs> yeah. decades to come. <laughs> All right, 920, oh no, 915 that is. And the sun will come out tomorrow, and soon it'll be time for outdoor entertaining. The preppy hostess is throwing a spring garden party with oh, us after the break. Beautiful that is. Yeah, also, uh, not so beautiful outside a live look right now. We've also got a, another severe weather update on those storms moving into the area. Stay with us more after the break. All right, well, you, you can't tell by the weather out there today, but soon enough, the skies will clear and it will be the perfect time to throw a springtime soiree. So here with several festive options for your next garden party is food and lifestyle expert Molly Shapiro, better known as the preppy hostess. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. I'm glad that we're doing this today so that you can get us in the springtime mood since it's not yeah. really feeling like it out there. Right. Well, the weather is heating up. There's, you know, the snow is gone. You know, the flowers are starting to mm -hmm. bloom. So time to celebrate. Absolutely. Right? And these are great ideas for everything from a Kentucky Derby party to bridal showers. Yeah all sorts of any spring event, summer even, you can carry these ideas on till then. Okay, so, so let's start with um, first things first and a little something to wet your whistle. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna start up the party with some type of sparkling drink. So whether you use Italian soda, sparkling water and juice, just something to kick off the party and just show your guests, you know, it's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, so yeah, I love to do it. They're bright colored and really pretty. All right, and so then moving on to tea sandwiches. Yes, and these are great because you can actually make them the day before and you're not stressed, you know, the day of the party. There's nothing worse to me than cooking and you have yes. a bunch of people coming over. So it gives you a chance to relax. Right. So would you recommend assembling them the day before? Yeah. You're not worried about the, the breads getting soggy? No, nope, they won't. So I like to do about three different sandwiches just to give it a variety and then everyone gets something they like. So. Mm -hmm. So what do we have I today? have the traditional cucumber and cream cheese. You got to have that yes. one. Um, this is actually my favorite. It's wassa cracker, cream cheese, and smoked salmon. And then I added these gorgeous um, edible flowers. And then these ones are fun too. You take a cookie cutter and you just cut um, a piece of bread and okay. you make a flower. How cute. Really so just simple. like a little regular yeah, little. Simple cookie okay. cutter. And then um, the cream cheese is gonna be like your glue to like hold these little, cause they're delicate. Right. So. The little radishes. Yeah. Now, where do you find edible flowers? You can't just walk out in your, your yard and pick anything. No. <laughs> so you can buy them online, but grocery stores, you know, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, those stores will actually have them in the produce section. They're easier to find than you would think. Okay, good yeah. to know. And so then moving on to some more greenery. Yeah, so a spring salad, you know, the vegetables this time of year, couldn't be better, right? Mm -hmm. So let's take advantage of it. So we have peas, radishes, um, a little red onion, feta, and then um, pecans. And it's all gonna be on, I like to use spring mix because variety. Right. And then just toss it in a very light um, balsamic vinaigrette. And is this one you've made around. yourself? Yeah. And you don't want to use a heavy dressing here because you don't want to overpower the vegetables. I mean, they're so good. Why cover them up with right. a heavy dressing? So what did you put in this dressing? It's just a balsamic vinaigrette. So vinegar, oil, and then a couple herbs and... Easy. But really easy to do, and you don't have, you know you don't have to buy it. Right. So and there's no those, affordable, none of those... easy. That's what I like to do. All right. <laughs> and then this little uh, masterpiece over here. What do yes. we have? This is the best part of the party, yes. in my opinion. <laughs> I um, agree. But again, we're going to do variety and serve it on a high tray to just give dimension and um, to your table. Mm -hmm. But cupcakes, something chocolate, lemon, and then I love the colorful macaron cookies. Yes. Um, they Which had, are so popular right now. Yeah, and you know. Decorate it with the spring flowers. They're either whether you pick them from your garden or buy them at the store. It's really kind of an inexpensive way to decorate um, and have a lot of impact on your table. So. Gorgeous. Okay, and so give us your website for folks who want more yes. of your tips and tricks. It's um, thepreppyhostess.com. All right, so thank can, you very much. Yeah. Perfect to try and like brighten things up on this dreary day. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, 925 is your time. Coming up here, Kiyomsha Youth Empowerment turning 25 this year. More coming up.